Hey guys, I literally have like five minutes before I have to head out the door, but I just wanted to make another beauty video really quick. I've been spending a lot of time filming on set or going to auditions, so I thought it would be a good idea for me to share my makeup pouch. Usually what I bring with me on set or to auditions to keep me looking fresh and um, for touch-ups. So with further ado, here we go! This is my makeup pouch that I bring with me everywhere. It is a sturdy, genuine leather Cole Haan makeup pouch, cosmetic pouch. It's very durable. I wanted something that would last a long time and I got it as a gift and it packs a lot. Since I'm a combination skin type that tends to be a little bit more oily in the summer and a little drier in the winter, but no matter where I go, no matter what season it is, I always bring a blotting powder with me on set or to auditions because you don't want your face to look shiny or oily on camera and the camera picks it up really quick so just try to look matte all the time. Japanese oil blotting papers, there were 300 sheets in them, there were three dollars. It's not, it's just your average, it's really thin so usually I have to use like two or three sheets at one time. Second item I use to control the oil on my face or any shine is the Benefit Hello Flawless and this is great for controlling oil for touch-ups. option of either using the sponge for more um, better coverage or the brush for lighter coverage. When my skin is feeling dry or I, wanna, I want to freshen up tired looking skin I use a facial mist. I swear by facial mist. Bring back moisture into your skin. My favorite mist that I use in the winter or during colder weather is Evian Facial Spray in the to-go size, which fits perfectly into my pouch. This is great. I know some people think, you know, you're just paying for ex really expensive mineral water, but I swear by it. And in the summertime, I use a more zesty, refreshing facial mist. Right now, I'm using up this bottle from L'Occitane. L'Occitane. It's a citrus revitalizing mist for the face and body. And this one, the mist isn't as fine. And if I were to spray this on my face, it'll literally shoot me in the eye and I'll go blind. So. I just use a little cosmetic sponge that I carry in my cosmetic pouch. I spray it a couple of times and then I'll probably, you know, kind of apply it that way just because mist is dangerous. Really, as you guys know, I'm really big on sunscreen. I realize the problem is since I use liquid sunscreen and if I'm wearing makeup, it's kind of hard to reapply throughout the day to apply mineral sun powder. And right now I am, sorry it's like broken. I'm using the one from um, Peter Thomas Roth which you can find at Sephora. Mineral, Instant Mineral SPF 30. And it's very convenient, all you do is just shake this and then you just kind of apply it everywhere. And then I really like multi-purpose products. Two multi-purpose products that I'm currently using is the mini version of the uh, Josie Moran Argan Oil Stick. I love this. I've been using this since last year. Almost down to the very last bit of product left. And I just use this everywhere. It's kind of, it reminds me of Shea Butter but in a very convenient stick form that's not as messy. I'll just usually swirl this around my finger pad and then put some on my lips, you know, if my eye area, under eye area is feeling a little bit dry, which sometimes, or a lot of times it does, I'll just pat underneath, and although it'll, it, it gives a shiny residue in the beginning, it sinks in a while later. 
Another multi-purpose product that I use is UV, which you can also find at Sephora, UV Moisturizing Skin Cream. It's a popular Japanese drugstore cream, a number one selling medicated vitamin enriched skin cream in Japan. It has concentrated amounts of glycerin, hope I'm pronouncing that right. And you can use this on, you know, split cuticles, chapped lips, cracked heels, calluses, burns, etc. I use this on my lips, under my eyes, sometimes on my neck when it's feeling dry, just wherever it's a good face cream to have in your makeup pouch. When I'm busy, sometimes I don't have time to spray perfume or forget about it before I'm heading out. So I always bring a perfume stick with me. Right now I am using Orangin's Fret Knot and I think it's a discontinued perfume. So I have just a little bit left of it. But it's very citrusy and fresh and I really like it. Who could forget lip balm? This is my favorite chapstick. One of my friends recommended to me, but it's a kiss for recovery and I like that it has a bit of SPF, although it's a little low, SPF 6. And I'm almost done using it, but it's great. Other lip products I use is Dior. Dior is kind of my guilty splurge for lip products. I'm not a big lip product person. I don't have a lot of lipstick, but I really like Dior, though they might not last the longest. It's color number 436. And then another lip product I carry is the Benetint and the mini size. I'm a huge fan of smaller versions of full size products just because it's easy to bring with me since I'm always on the go. I'll either carry the Benetint or the smaller version of the Benefit Posey Tint with me. And it's great because it lasts a lot longer than lip gloss. The last few items I have, I swear I'm almost done. My eyes are feeling dry or it looks red. I use the Roto Cool Drops. This is for non-contact wearers since I don't wear contacts, but it's great for kind of eliminating the redness in your eyes. Um, when you're on set, you don't want <laughs> bloodshot eyes in front of the camera, you want to look pretty. And then a rat tail comb just to tease my hair if it's looking a little flat. And last but not least, compact mirror. It's amazing how much things can fit in a girl's makeup pouch, huh? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more updates.